Reports. This video will take you through the report section of Forest. Click Manager. Under Financials, click Reports. In Reports, the first thing you will notice is there are two reports titled Finance and Staff. A horizontal blue line will appear under the report you are currently viewing. To the right-hand side of the screen, you can adjust the date range using the drop-down menu. Here you can view your report for any date ranges down the left-hand side of the calendar. Alternatively, you can click any two dates in the calendar and create your own date range. Click Update to see your reports. If you wish to download this information, just click Export to save it as a file. Let's check out your financial totals. If you run multiple branches, you can see them along the top of your screen. This allows you to see all of your salons and compare against each other. Otherwise, you will just see one branch. To the right of financial totals, you will notice a question mark icon. Clicking on this icon will give you some context behind each of your reports. You can expand your financial totals by clicking the blue arrow beside sales, vouchers, accounts and sundries to dig deeper into your reports. Scroll down to see your payment types. To the right of payment types, you will notice a question mark icon. Click this icon for some context into the payment type reports. Payment types will show you how much you took in and cash, credit, debit, or any additional payment types you accept, along with your totals. Now let's check out your staff reports by clicking staff at the top of the screen. Again, you can adjust the date range of your report. This time you can also pull a report for individual staff categories or select all. Settings Cogwheel, this is how you will set your payroll report up. You can set the payroll frequency choosing monthly, weekly or bi-weekly. You can set your last day of payroll period ending on any particular day or set it as the last day of the month. State if you want the pay staff based on rostered hours or clocked in, clocked out. Finally, state if you want to deduct the cost of service. If yes, your report will calculate commission after deducting the cost of service. Click Save when you are done. The first report you will see is Payroll. To the right of Payroll, you will notice a question mark icon. Clicking on the icon will give you some context behind each of your staff payroll reports. Using the blue arrow, you can expand your commission and wages reports. The next report available is Performance Revenue. This question mark beside Performance Revenue will show you a guide to your services, courses, products and totals. The final stat report on the screen is the performance stats. The question mark beside performance stats will help you understand your services, courses, products, utilization, requests, clients' visits, average revenue per visit, clients' rebookings, clients' retention, review rating, and product upsell. To explore these sub reports, just click on the blue arrow. As we develop our report features, you will see additional reports added here over time. In the meantime, if there are any reports you don't see here, you can always click Return to Old Reports at the top of your screen. Here you can see sub-reports for your financials, staff, clients, services, products, vouchers, others and multi-branch. Similar to our new reports section, you can generate and download or print any reports.